Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today is Sunday. You know what that means for me. It's Tarot Day. Yay! I'm starting to get back to some normalcy. Okay, the last couple of weeks it's been a little bit cray cray. We've all got to admit that, right? Who hasn't had a bit of cray cray? So, let's get right into it. How are you feeling? Because a lot of people aren't feeling 100% this week. So let's have a look at today's spread. Um, before we do, I want your opinion. So if you can comment, I'm actually thinking about doing these tarot readings 9am Sunday live Brisbane time. So if you're in New, if you're in California, that's minus 17 hours. So that'd be 5 p.m. Saturday if you're in New York and it's 9 a.m. Brisbane time. So all you've got to do is go to Google or Siri and just say, what is the current time in Brisbane, Australia? And it comes up so you see whether how far ahead I am to you. OK, it might be nine hours ahead or 12 hours ahead. OK, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that where I do my tarot live because when you comment on a live YouTube, I can actually pull cards relevant just to you. I can do, you know, if you ask me questions, I can tap in and do live readings for you then. How does that sound? So it's specific answers to what your questions are. So if you want 9 a.m. next Sunday, Brisbane time, I'm going to be live, okay? So let's have a look at the cards today in order as she told me to pull them today. So the first one that she said to go with today is my little lovey-dovey cards. I've already got him here. And while I do this, I want to talk about the show I've just watched on Netflix. It's called Down to Earth with Zac Efron. Now, if you've got Netflix, Down to Earth is what it's called. It's a docuseries. And what he does is he goes to different areas all over the world and he's looking at ways of preserving the planet. So the one that I want to talk about was the one I watched yesterday about water. He goes to Paris, where Paris is now implementing this Odu, Odu water, <laughs> okay? And they go into the facility where they create. They don't use chlorine like a lot of other Western countries do, like America and Australia. They actually use oxygen and UV lights to purify the water. Huh! Wow! I'm liking it. So what can we learn straight away from this series just about water? They show us to treasure and respect everything. Well, don't take things for granted. That's the message that I'm getting today. Okay, after watching this docu-series last night. So don't take things for granted. Appreciate even the smallest of things. I'll tell you what happened to me yesterday. My mouse died from my computer, so I had to go out and source a new one. I wear everything red, okay? You don't want to know what I'm wearing because, hello, I'm a talking head on here. But I've got red pants on, okay? I've got red flowers behind me. I've got a red ring. And yesterday I had to go out and find a new red mouse. My mouse died yesterday. Oh, what luck. And then while I was there, I also got myself some red... <laughs> USB <laughs> storage stuff. So yeah, I like the color red. So appreciate just the smallest of things. Okay. How many times in our day do we just pick up a random pen and say, <clears throat> I appreciate you. I value the fact that you helped me write notes. Thank you so much. This is what we're getting told this week, guys. Appreciate everything. You know, you turn on a tap and you just expect water to come out. So let's think about how we treat everything on this planet. Because that's where we go. We are going into a 5D ascension. Yay! Okay? So this is where a lot of people now are starting to see ghosts. They're starting to use their ESP. They're starting to wake up to what the government is slowly trying to um, bring us down, make us sheep. So my book, haha, <laughs> here we go, da 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 psychics explained 
it's going to be in the Explain series. So I've just changed Ghosts to Ghosts. Um, my Ghost book is now Ghost Explained. I'm coming out with Psychics Explained. I'm going to be doing Crystals Explained, Spirit Guides Explained, Angels Explained, Auras Explained. So they're all in the Explained series. So they're educational books, okay? And they're all going to be on Lulu. So if you are interested in the books I've already got out, the link is below to my Lulu books, okay? So you can go check me out there. So my little lovey-dovey card today, it says love would try to remain optimistic. I'll just put it up so you can see for yourself. Da, 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 da. Love would try to remain optimistic. So it's not saying we have to. It's saying we just try our best because that's all we do in life, right? Try your best to be a better person. If you ring someone and you think, oh my God, I'm so angry while I'm on the phone. Ring them back and say, you know what? I'm going to own up to that. I'm going to fess up and say sorry. I, I didn't like the way I just spoke to you on the phone. Do that. Clear that energy because that's karma when we rebalance the energies. Okay? You know, if you're walking down the street and you see someone um, sitting there on the side of the street and then you walk past and you think, damn, why didn't I just say hi to that guy? Hope you have a nice day. Hope you feel, hope you feel okay. Are you okay? There's so many things that we could say just in passing. Why didn't I do that? Huh. I'm going to go back and do it again. So you walk back. You go, hey, hope you're having a nice day. What's it to you? But it could mean the world to him or her. Okay? Could mean the world to them. Okay? They could be sitting there having a really bad day. And then some random stranger just says, hey, things can only get better. <laughs> okay? So, always try our best, try our best to stay optimistic, okay? Next one that I pulled was from the Louise Benton range. Okay, so here's her range. Um, the link is below if you do want to go and get a copy of her cards. So, here we go with today's card. I love the artwork that the Louise designs on these cards. Isn't that awesome? Just pause and have a look at that for a minute. What do you see straight away in this card? Wow, that connection between Earth and the universe. That's what I see straight away, the connection and how we are the energy between the universal energies and the Mother Earth of, of the tree. You know, how many times do we look at the, um, the tree of life? I see that straight away. Wow, and even the hands are together. And they're creating, I don't know if you can see it, but the hands are creating like this little L8 shape. So that's creating. So we are the creators. We are the manifestors. Okay? We create. So this is called the ascension. Oh my God, I just mentioned 5D, didn't I? This stuff makes my eyes water, guys. I need to just wipe my eyes. Oh my God. Okay. Ascension card. Okay, let's read it. Integrate all you've known and feel the light of Earth's new dawn. Find balance in polarity, visioning what is to be. So this is where we look at ourselves in the future. Okay? Um, in the death throes of a dying age, well, we are ascending into 5D. Okay? Allow what is and disengage. So this is where we disconnect from our past disconnect from who you were and striving now to be who you are so we must let go of all those characteristics personality traits all those behaviors all those thoughts oh of what we used to be and this is our time to ascend new life follows death the wheels of time roll on through the pain of birth we are transformed See the world you know with expanded vision. So this is where we get outside of that box and we look at what are the possibilities. Don't just dream small here, guys. Don't just say one plus one must equal two. Go to those boundaries and say, is it really three? Could it be 16,225? Okay. It's beauty, sacredness and perfection. Align with your own celestial destiny and take your place with truth and integrity. Always stay true to yourself. Don't have a pretense. Don't be what 
you aren't. Because when we're in our natural form and we are our true self, that's when we shine. If I pretend today to be a corporate type of person, I'm not going to be shining my light. My aura is going to be dimmed because my energy will be diminished because it's not who I am. Okay, I'm not a corporate person at all. How did I ever work in a corporate environment? Okay, the portal is open. The next cycle unfolds. Yay! Embrace the future and all that it holds. Okay, down the bottom it says, I trust the process of growth and transformation. Now, I'm going to hold this up just in case you do want to pause and read that. But I'll tell you a little story. I had a lady here this week. And hello, if you're watching. She actually came to my house and the line that she said was, I keep looking into the mirror. She's always looking in her mirror. Now, it's not a physical mirror on the wall in the bathroom. It's just that we're always just looking at ourselves. So my reply to her was, don't look at that person because you don't want to be that person anymore, do we? This is our time to think of the possibilities who we are. Who do we want to be in five years? So when you look into that mirror, see that dream, that goal, that plan of who you want to be in the future. Okay? You know, if you want to upgrade your car, don't sit there and think about the car that you're driving now in that mirror. Don't look in that mirror and see the car that you've got. Look into that mirror and see the one that you do want. Manifest it in our, in our views because then we're creating it in our brain and it creates into reality. Okay, funny thing, funny thing, I'm going to tell you this about manifestation, okay, because I did a, there's a video I did, my last video I did is about how to manifest um, your desires, go look at that one, because this week I needed a black dress for a funeral, and I've been thinking, you know, I've known about this funeral now for about two weeks, and I thought, my God, I want a black dress with those, you know, the sleeves that come down like the princess used to wear, so it comes down like this. I thought, I'm never going to find this dress. So I was looking on Gothic. It's a black dress with the sleeves that come down like princesses used to wear. And I thought, I'm never going to find this dress. Um, so I was looking at on online at Gothic show dresses shops. I was looking um, on eBay under black dresses i looked everywhere for a dress for this funeral coming up anyway yesterday i was out and i got told to go to the salvation army charity shop charity shop of all things so i got told i got a message go to that shop so i walked in now i've been into that shop heaps of times because i love walking in there and just looking at all their really nice old you know people throw away all their old um um plates their glasses their um, bowls. I love looking at like 1950 bowls. You know, I love it. I just sit there and just look at all the old stuff that people just donate. Okay. Charity shop. So I get drawn over to where all their black dresses are. And guess what I found? There it is. My size. Fitted perfectly. I got it for five dollars. Jeez, the universe loves looking after us, doesn't it? So now I've got this dress. I've sanitized it last night. I've washed it a few times. So no, just in case whoever heard it before me, right? Get all their energy off it. So it's on the line right now, this dress. And it's got the sleeve that comes out and it falls down. So it does that at the end of it. My God, I am so... And it fits me perfectly. Wow. Okay. So we manifest what we want in our future, guys. It really does work. Okay. So the one line in here... Um, uh, da, 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 oh, see the world you know with expanded vision. So don't look in the in the mirror at what was. Look in the mirror and see the possibilities of what you do want, okay, to achieve in the future. Okay, so the next one that I got was my tarot card. And today it is the Ace of Pentacles. So let's go over here to my book. I've got him here. Okay, so I've got the Ace of Pentacles here. So there it is. So you know. Yep, yeah, that's him. Okay, so you know it's him. Let's have a read. Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> the, 
The Ace of Pentacles represents prosperity and material gains. The beginning of successful endeavors that bring good financial reward. Yes! Okay, so this would be an excellent card if you were looking to start a new business venture. It can signify documents that hold material importance, such as company accounts, education certificates or diplomas, marriage contracts, inheritance documents, such as wills, bank accounts or house deeds. Sometimes it may represent an important letter being received, although frequently it would be an official or monetary nature. Oh, together with supporting cards, it may indicate a lump sum of money, gifts or an inheritance. Hello. So here we go, guys. This is the time to dream big of what you want because the cards are aligned is to bring it into you this week. OK. All right. So that's the Ace of Pentacles. I always say that this one's one of the luckiest cards of the deck because it is the inheritance card. It's money coming to us that we weren't expecting. OK. Wow. Now, I know this ruin stone that I'm about to show you guys and because i've already looked at him when i got him out so i'll go straight into my book because remember hang on i'll just show it to you first it's the i one here he is here we must remember that in everything good there's always that yin yang okay the cards this week are great we're moving towards ascension we're moving towards the 5d so get yourself prepared for it let go of all your past hurts, your issues, your grudges. Stop accusing people for what and blaming people for what they did 20 bloody years ago. Stop it. Let go of that. Let them be. Now, the line that I like saying is you're not connected at the hip with these people. They can do whatever they like. And when we turn it into a positive and we say to them, you know what? Thank you so much for being nasty to me. Hello, my ex-husband killed me for God's sake. And I say to him in my mind every single day, I say, thank you so much for showing me who I don't want to be. Thank you so much for showing me and teaching me how I can be nice and kind and generous and loving to others because I don't want to be in that same mindset that he was. Thank you so much for showing me that you were conceited. So then I cannot be like that because I know the pain of how it feels to be on the receiving end of that. Thank you so much for showing me what it's like in that situation because then I use that as a strength to take me places where I've never been in my own reality so I can be a kinder loving more generous person to others as well see how powerful it is when we flip it around and you know people say to me do I hate him no I can't hate him I love him so much because he was the greatest teacher that I've ever had who taught me the value of how treasured every single minute is on this planet. He taught me how important and special it is to be kind to others so then they don't feel like I did in May 2001. Wow, powerful, powerful, powerful. So here we go. This is the ice ruin. It's called the Isai, Isa. Isa is the ruin stone and it's the ice the ruin of coldness or a freezing or stoppage of some activity often associated with delays both temporary and long term or a cooling in a relationship with everything good there must be the flip side of something to balance that out so just remember, guys, today the cards say that good things are coming. We're going into 5D. Now, this is where a lot of people have to face their past hurts, their past pains. Why do they treat others the way they did? This is a time to live to that pain. We must relive it. We must go through those hurts. So then we understand that perspective of what we have to learn out of it. The night I died in 2001, I go back to the week before that many times 
early May 2001. I died on the night of May 6. So I go back to the 3rd of May when I had a fight with my ex. And I look at that, the words I said to him and the actions he did back to me where he hit me and he actually punched me in the head. He, he hit me here and that's why my eyes water so much because I've now got an eye injury. And I think about what I said to him that night and I heal it through forgiving myself. And I think, could have I done anything different at that time? No, I couldn't. But I can do differently in my future if I learn that's not the correct way of dealing with people. That's how we become humbled. That's how we become forgiving. And most of all, that's how we become loving. Because if we don't love ourselves, oh my God, I hated the way I did that. Why did I go and do that yesterday? I hate myself for it. Don't say that about yourself ever. You don't know what other options you had yesterday, or the day before, or last year, last decade, last bloody year, last century. You don't know what you had. Because you didn't have an option at that time to do it. So, the, there we've got three dot points for this little ice stone. May indicate a freeze or delay of some kind, an impending cooling of a relationship. Could this be the relationship you have with yourself? Could it be the relationship that you have with a co-worker? Could it be if a niece, nephew, cousin, not just a partner or the person that you sleep with every night? Could it be a pet? Could it be a neighbour? So look at all the relationships that you have. The freeze may be self-imposed or a creation of circumstances or others. So it could be everything, anything. If part of a negative cast, well, it's not, so I'm not even going to go there. But just remember, guys, we manifest things. It doesn't come immediately. It comes when the universe says it's ready for us to receive it. What we need is so different to what we want. I could want $100 million right now. I could want a new Lamborghini car. I may want um, a huge house, ocean view estate. But the universe says, ah, 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 we're going to give you what you need to survive. And they've been doing a pretty damn good job up until this point of my 56 years, correct? So this week, guys, as you go out into your world, interacting with others, try to listen to what you say to others. Analyze it after you have a conversation with someone and say, did I just tell that person how much I appreciate their friendship? Did I just correctly tell that person off in a polite and respectful way? Or did I start screaming and yelling abuse at them? Think about our conversations because our words are so important. All right, so I've done all the tarot today. I think I've done enough of a sermon. Next Saturday, Sunday, let me know if you want me to go live 9 a.m. on next Sunday Brisbane time. So if you've got questions, you can come on and comment them so I can answer them live on air. Yes! Okay, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great week. Bye.